So what I love about cheer leading is, first of all, the people. The people are amazing, and it's so great because I get to bond with people, other people that have disabilities, and I get to um, feel normal for once because I, out in the normal world, I don't feel normal because I don't know a lot of people with disabilities, but when I started cheering, I found a lot of people with disabilities that I can relate to. Some of them were my age, or some of them were younger. And the other thing I love is like being able to go out on the competition floor and hit your routine. That is one of the greatest feelings is going out there and hitting your routine and knowing like, okay, I did it, we were good, we survived it, that kind of thing. Well, taking on this endeavor meant expanding my knowledge and experience within the special education field to something different. Uh, being a special education teacher, you're in the classroom and you're learning how to educate children in a variety of different ways. There's a lot of accommodations and modifications that you have to make and a lot of differentiation that you have to do within your practice and being able to apply those types of skills into a sport that I've loved my whole life was just like taking two of my favorite things and being able to combine it into one. This is our cheer family. I'm so proud of them. This is our second year. Um, our pitcher, our team pitcher of our second year will be starting our third year. Um, this is Ashley, my daughter, myself, and this is the team. When I watch my daughter Ashley coach the Challenger team, I could not be more proud of her. She has wanted to be a teacher since the second grade. She has taught and observed and did student teaching in all different grade levels and when it came time to decide where she wanted to focus on she said special education you know in 2016 when we said we we're going to do this I knew the time was right because she's a fantastic teacher and I've seen her you know with the children that she currently teaches that I knew that it was going to be very special Go to. So what's next? You can tell me. Um, motion. Motion. All right, get back to your dots. You know, I think that cheerleading is beneficial to kids with disabilities in a lot of ways. Uh, there's a lot of structure. There's a lot of routine. There's a lot of predictability. I think this sport is is super accommodating for for kids with disabilities, and I just want others to be able to see what we do and see what these kids do. You really can't explain Coach Ashley and Coach Ginger because they are truly amazing individuals. I think the biggest thing is is that they truly understand the kids and they meet them where they're at and then they'll push them from there. And they're just, they're so nurturing but yet hold them accountable. It really shows me like what Megan is capable like it just sh it shows you like you shouldn't put any limitations on your children because I'll never forget the first practice that I came to and she stood for the whole two hours like I've never seen her stand for two hours like without like a walker like she was standing I was like this is amazing so to, to see that it just it makes me feel so proud of her so it, that's what it does for me I think it's amazing because Ashley did Pop Warner when she was my age, and then she stopped it, and her mom is the Pop Warner coordinator, and then they started this team a year before I joined, and I just think it's amazing that they're giving kids with special needs, they're giving us the opportunity to be in a setting where we are normal, where we are equal, where we are, where we can be who we are, and where we're not judged, where, you know, where we can just be ourselves and not feel like we have to hide behind a mask and just, we can just be who we are. And I think that that's really important. This program has given these kids an opportunity to be successful in so many ways. Um, they all have such a desire to learn and to grow and to be involved with each other, with 
the community and I do that for the opportunity for them to continue to grow and these kids have just taken it and ran with it and they they have no fear and I it's something that I admire about them so much and when I see them able to do those kinds of things it allows me to continue to focus on the positive aspects and what they have to offer and just be able to show that to anybody who's willing to look.